And finally tonight, after being rejected by secular media companies, a children's show hopes to spread the gospel in a new and tuneful way. The wonderful world of Benjamin Cello is now in its second season, and the people behind the show have a unique story of creativity and conversion. Correspondent Mark Irons reports. The actors. We might illuminate the night. And actresses bringing this colorful children's show to life all have a common mission, and they're all related. It's quite the family affair. Over the last two decades, the Wolliver family has made a name for themselves as the Annie Moses Band. Oh God, my father. In 2019, they decided to take their musical talent from stage to screen with the faith-filled production of The Wonderful World of Benjamin Cello, created by Robin Wooliver, the mother of this musical clan. She noticed how many Disney songs her grandchildren knew and how few hymns. She says the time children spend in front of screens can be influential. And we have got to meet that and we must saturate our children in truth. When the family first started creating Benjamin Cello, there were challenges. Industry professionals wanted references to God in the show to be removed before funding the project. The Woolivers wouldn't do that. After being rejected by multiple secular streaming services, the family made the decision to move out to the Tennessee countryside, build their own studio, and create their own media company. We um, have had so much fun, though. You know, God is so amazing. It's not the first major transition this group has been through. Years ago, as they traveled the world playing music, they made another move that was life-changing. This whole family of Protestants converted to Catholicism. It was really just a God, a move of God. Each member had different experiences that brought them closer to the Catholic faith. For Benjamin Wolliver, seen with his cello on screen, it was the writings of the saints. And as a Protestant, he says he was familiar with the Catholic Church, but experiencing God's love in the sacraments was something he could not articulate until he converted. What I tried to communicate to people, it's like trying to imagine a symphony when you've only heard a few fiddles. You know, you, you just have to really have the Holy Spirit open your mind to something greater than you could have imagined. And it's that imagination coming to life in the world of Benjamin Cello, finding a fresh way to spread the gospel. The show can be streamed on Right Now Media and Formed. Remember, God loves you. We hope to, in everything we do, create that sense of wonder that makes people grateful for what God's given them, for who he is, who he's created us to be. In Washington, Mark Irons, EWTN News Nightly.